today we're going to be wiring up uh, four solar panels into 48 volt configuration for a 48 volt solar pump control. So you can see here we've got our panels laid out. So what we want to do is we want to start by putting our solar panels into series. So that requires taking one panel, plugging it into the next. So positive to negative. If you're not sure which side's positive and which side's negative, on the back here, you can see the black box. This side indicates negative. This side indicates positive. Okay, so now we've set these two panels up into series. So we're going to do the same with the next two. So just positive to negative. Okay, that's our two panels in series. Next, we're going to put them into parallel. So what we want to do is we want to grab our MC4 connectors or double adapters and we're gonna plug these into these panels. So we're gonna take pos uh, positive from one set, plug it in, and take positive from the other set, and plug that in. So that puts them into parallel. Then we'll do the same with the negative. Okay, there we go. Now, depending on your placement, you may want to hook up your isolator and control box either in the middle of the panels or at one end. If you prefer to do it at one end, you're gonna need these extension cables. So, we'll go from one set, we plug in one end, bring it over, we go to the other set, plug that in, and bring that over here as well. So now what we do is we're going to go into the solar isolator. So as you can see on here, you've got connectors as well. Make sure that your isolator is in the off position. And if you've got a multimeter, it would also be good to check your connectors to make sure you've got the right polarity before plugging it in. So we're going to go one into there, next one into there. So as you can see here, that's our incoming solar, and this is our outgoing solar. Now we're going to take these ones and we're going to plug them into the pump control box. So now you're going to take these and plug them into your solar pump controller. You can see on here that you've got your positive on this side, your negative on this side. If you've got a multimeter, again, it'd be a good idea to just double check your polarity. So take this one, plug it in there, that one there, plug it into there. Okay, now you can turn on your solar isolator, and with that turned on, you should see power come up on the control box. Come on, I'm sorry, I'm not the car, so I'm